agenda discussion regarding the RFP on the Senior Center. Uh, Attorney Lamonic sent this out to everybody um, so you could have a chance to, to look at it. Uh, Attorney Lamonic, do you have anything to say? I, there was some additions today. We had a council of aging meeting uh, last week, and there was one some comments from some of the uh, members of the, the, the attend the Senior Center that uh, perhaps uh, we're lowballing the square footage. And uh, speaking with the mayor today, uh, if, we hope that this new site is going to take off. We hope that uh, we can offer more and more programs that uh, uh, criteria number 11 would be the ability to expand. So uh, if, if, uh, that we're not limited just to the, the 8 to 9,000 square feet right now. I've heard no complaints that the 7,000 square feet that we have now, uh, people cramped, but that doesn't mean uh, the, that uh, in the future that, that we can offer more services. We'll, for the first time, have a full city employee, Eldic uh, Affairs uh, Director. Uh, that was posted yesterday. I've been told that there have been numerous inquiries and applications that have been submitted to that position. So uh, we certainly don't want to enter into a five-year lease. Uh, it grows to a point where uh, we're turning people away. So uh, an evaluating criteria is the ability to expand. And number 12 in the evaluation that I handed out is the general overall impression of, of the, uh, the submittal that will take in all aspects of the proposal and how it fits to the needs of the seniors moving forward. Okay. Uh, the mayor's office, uh, Councilor Chikudis and I will be meeting with uh, the seniors tomorrow, explaining the RFP process, the timeline. Uh, as we're shooting at this point, we're probably looking at it uh, this document before you just add one week to all the dates. Uh, because this, that was assuming it was going to go the advertising center one just to tomorrow. That won't be the case. It'll be advertised a week from tomorrow. Um, it has to be advertised in 30 days. I envision that this committee would probably want some input from the seniors. Uh, if we got four bids, I guarantee you there'll be seniors that will uh, say, I want A, B, and C, and D. And that uh, you folks will want to listen to their evaluations. What the goals tomorrow is, as far as explaining the process is to get a handle on how many people would not attend if they're not on public transportation? How many people would not attend if they don't have a parking space? Uh, how many people would uh, not attend if they have an inability to walk to the location? Uh, I understand there's quite a few people that uh, live in the neighborhood uh, on Silky Street that uh, that's, they walk there and it's located somewhere in a non-walkable distance, they probably wouldn't go. Uh, I'm also aware, uh, being so that uh, Many people in different parts of Lynn will go to the Linfield or Peabody Senior Center uh, and not travel to Lynn, whether it's because of parking issues or uh, a lot of like. So, uh, so we'll be pointing back our findings. There is a survey being conducted by Mass Senior Action with some of these same questions that are being asked about transportation and parking. So, uh, we will have the Public Service Director when the bids are open in April to help you folks. We'll have surveys that'll, that have been submitted for some folks to uh, analyze to help you uh, make the decision moving forward. Uh, exciting time, we've never had a success. So, so it's, a, it's a challenge, but it's an opportunity. And our goal is to be up and running in July 1st. I just have one. Yes, Council Lapier. One question through the Chair. Um, are the hours of operation consistent with what they are right now, the Monday through Friday, 7 they're, to 5? They're purposely very fluid. Uh, what has happened recently, Liz offer, uh, offers a uh, uh, homeless breakfast for a less, lack of a better uh, term. That's a different program from the senior center. What we're finding, I've been told, is that uh, many of the seniors want to take advantage of that breakfast. Uh, so they've actually opened up the senior center at 7. They've found more recently, particularly in the winter months when it gets darker, that the place really clears out around 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no one there. So 7 to 3 is that right, Council? Look, that may change as the sun updates with the daylight savings time coming up this week. That maybe the hours will adjust. But, um, and it says we, we it may be open uh, evenings or weekends depending on special events. So that's right, consistent with that what happens down there now. They have a senior prom now, and there are other events that uh, okay that will happen. So yeah, cookouts and things like that. Okay, thank you. And Attorney Lamana, once the um, the dates are changed and and the changes that are on start on page twelve are, in, are incorporated, can we get? Um, new copies out to the members of the committee? Absolutely. Just so we know exactly what it is and you can get rid of the ones that, that we already have. 
Any further questions? What's the wish of the committee? Move forward. Motion. Motion to approve. Second. Seconded. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Stapa? Yes. Yes. Councilor Lapia? Yes. 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 Councilor Colucci? Yes. Yes. Councilor Walsh? Absent. Councilor Field? Yes. Yes. Okay. Motion passes. No other business. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you for coming in tonight.